you. Let's check in now with Storm Team Meteorologist Michael Haynes for the latest. Michael, for the golf today, how are we looking? I know it's going to be a little dicey later on, but at least the morning right now, we've got some sun out there and it's not nothing too bad. Yeah, Chloe, most of the day just fine here. As we look live uh, from the Tip Top Grill in Hoover, we have a nice breeze blowing and it will get windy throughout the day as we look at temperatures starting out in the upper 40s in Etowah County, while Birmingham at 63, Alabaster at, 60, uh, at 61. Uh, so we're running much warmer compared to this time yesterday. But the wind will come out of the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 30 miles per hour later on this afternoon. Not much happening in central Alabama, not at the moment. But as we look back to the west of us in Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas and Louisiana, we do have rain and thunderstorms developing. They are in an enhanced risk on a scale of one to five at a three for damaging straight line wind. Also a few tornadoes and large hail for us around here this evening, mainly after seven o'clock between seven o'clock and midnight. There's a lower end risk uh, for damaging straight line wind and large hail. So let's talk about that and time it all out for you. Uh, this is our future cast. Uh, some clouds coming back in throughout the morning into this afternoon and then a batch of showers over the northwest part of the state just after lunchtime pushing on through just those rogue showers won't amount to much at all. Then as we get past seven o'clock, that's the main line pushing in, but it will weaken from northwest to southeast. So again, we're talking about a limited threat for damaging straight line wind, hail, and certainly some heavy rain. Then that will push on out of here, just leading to a few remnant showers by around uh, rush hour tomorrow morning. Now for the region's tradition going on today, about 68 degrees at nine o'clock, still mostly clear at that time. And then the clouds will progressively increase throughout the tournament this afternoon. But remember, the wind will be kicking, uh, gusting as high as 30 miles per hour with the actual temperatures 83 to 86 degrees. So we should get through the day without any type of major weather related problems. Getting into next week, uh, still a fairly progressive weather pattern, meaning rain and storms will continue at times through the first half of the week, uh, followed by much improving conditions, Chloe, uh, by next Friday and Saturday as highs return to the mid to upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. Michael, thank